Yeah, this is, I want to address the moment that we're going through in humanity with everything that's being revealed on the international, national, societal, all these levels, all the challenges that exist, whether it's medically, blah, 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 oh, everything. It's coming to a place that is so obvious that I think just about everybody's going to get it. That um, we have tried to control the uncontrollable, which is outside of ourselves. It's not just Mother Nature and all her power. It's not just that. It's, um, there's nothing outside of ourselves we can control. Of course, uh, the obvious one is other human beings. <clears throat> So we do all these things to try to control our outside world and make it comfortable or convenient or even workable uh, at the expense of learning how to be in charge of ourselves. <laughs> because that takes a tedious and intentional amount of work, it's not really work. <clears throat> <clears throat> and the more, um, the more enthusiastically one commits oneself to that act, the, the more likely it's actually going to happen. You're gonna get to know who you are. Find out that to go within and to discover who you are and discover um, that we're all one, all nature, all life, all, we are all one. By that I mean is that when you discover who you are, you, if you go deep enough and <clears throat> throwing away all the veils and all the excuses and all the outside activity of blame and hate and violence and trying to control, you know. Um, so the, the, the more you commit yourself, to actually commit to making that journey from the ego-mindedness into our heart, <clears throat> but not just biological heart. I'm talking about the heart of the matter, the very heart of, of why we are here who we are and where we're going and who you want to be and <laughs> what's it all about, Alfie. So I wanted to, I wanted to premise that because um, it's important that we all uh, discover that. Not just for the sake of uh, improving our family relations, our family um, and friends and close friends and, you know, to um, recognize that <clears throat> <clears throat> so much of that is such a delicate balance. So you have to ask yourself, why? Why is that? And uh, the only way you're going to get an answer is if you look within yourself, not by judging or not
start by uh, projecting the blame of whatever we come up with in our own creation, because that's what it is, it's all in your mind. We are all responsible for our emotions and our thoughts. Um, the sources of them, well, that's e up to each individual to really discover what the source and Why do we keep subscribing to uh, whatever it is that's really eating away at us, at ourselves? Because all of that and all of the hate and, uh, that turns into, of course, violence and revenge, and this is what's coming out in, the, in, in all ways. That's including the school shootings and, of course, the violence in Ukraine and many, many other places in the world. Many will not even never hear about it because how can we? Seven billion people in the world. And, and I would dare say <clears throat> that about 99% of whatever billions of people there are um, are suffering from mental illness. We cover it by calling it like PTSD. And then of course all the sub things about mental illness and what kind of mental illness. But this is just another way of really, <clears throat> if you only, if you're gonna make any, any advance towards a life of simplicity and joy this is where this is where it starts because we're really all after inner peace that's what we're all after and we find the inner peace by getting to know who we really are and uh, uh, Give credit where credit due, what a thing to say. I mean, I, I've been very fortunate to have had many, many teachers that have basically, well, what is obvious, it's that it's all the same. The answers from all these different sects, the same religions, different political beliefs, but when you really get down to all that get away from all that surface stuff and to find out who you are, the answer is very simple and it's very... And this is the truth that we're after. We're after the truth of who we are. And uh, <clears throat> uh, so when I said giving credit because this is Sri Sri Shankar's quote. And uh, you, can, you can actually watch that in, in, in my film called Divine Presence. And the simple single message is that is, there is only one truth. There's only one truth. However, this one truth has many dimensions. It's multidimensional. And it can be as many or even more dimensions than there are human beings <laughs> because all life matters. <laughs> so, um, not to leave anybody hanging about what do I mean and uh, what is this one truth and what is the truth is that we are all part of the divine because God
God is known for being omnipotent as well as omnipresent. And why would you, or why would me, not have the presence of God within? So, um, that, like, you know, perks one up and says, wow, if I am this divine being, then I might as well learn how to behave like one. <laughs> so this is where Shakespeare comes in who said, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players and all the exits and the entrances, it's not about that. It's about really recognizing that it's how we behave towards each other and even the ones we don't know personally. So blessings, namaste, and uh, mm, my heartistry wants me to reveal what it is. My heartistry is by now, I just make that, you know, where I use my mind, I use my ego mind, but just not for egoic things. <laughs> I, use, I use my ego mind to maybe um, translate thoughts and ideas that may reveal themselves. And uh, my mind then gives me the, um, the right reaction to noticing that and how to go forth with human action, whether it's expressing art or expressing work or expressing a relationship. It all comes down to behavior. The hardest way, the way of the hardest Namaste.